Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have decided that I'm going to do uh, a little bit more foil stuff with you guys because you guys have been leaving comments all over the place uh, saying that you're struggling and I want to try and help. So uh, we're going to do a simple butterfly. You guys have asked about this one. You've asked for a tutorial. Um, so I just thought I'd whip a real quick one up with you here and, uh, and see if this helps. Now, one of the big things with doing foil, you have to make sure that the glue that you're using, that you are curing it properly underneath your lamp for the proper amount of time. I usually do mine for two minutes, um, but I've heard some people have been commenting saying that it takes like up to five minutes depending on your lamp. So based on the lamp that I have, in the description of the video where I got mine and the glue that I'm using, I do mine for two minutes, but you might have to do it longer. Um, just keep playing with it. And like I said, don't waste it on a rock right away. Uh, keep playing with the foils and getting used to it on like a, a, a rock that you don't plan on keeping even or paper or cardboard or something. Just get used to how long it has to cure for. And, uh, and then go from there. It will once you figure it out, you're going to go nuts with it. You're gonna just be, as you can see from all of my photos lately, I've added a little bit of foil in everywhere. Um, so I sketched on my butterfly. It's not even. It's not gonna be a perfect butterfly. And if you have like an OCD reaction, if I'm triggering you in any way, I apologize. Um, but this butterfly is not gonna be perfect. Um, so yeah, I started off with pencil. Now you can see it a lot better now that I've, uh, added my black paint. I am going to paint the entire thing black, and then I'm going to outline it in gold, which you guys are used to, <laughs> but this is a simple way. Very, very simple. The only paint colors I'm using today are black and gold and, uh, the rest is going to be foil. So hopefully you guys love it when you see it. So I'm just filling everything in, uh, letting it dry really, really well before I get the gold out. And then I will uh, find all the parts in gold. <laughs> now you can use any kind of foil you want. I do like to use like a metallic or chrome looking uh, foil on my butterflies. It just looks really pretty. Um, but you can use like a flower design on your foil or you can use like... A sparkly holographic thing. Um, I've done quite a few and uh, I've tried different foils and so far the the really shiny chrome looking ones, the metal looking ones, they just look really pretty. So I am using my fine lining brush and I am outlining all of my parts and if some bits are too thick or look a little weird, which I already see right in front of me. Um, but if it looks a little weird, I wait for the gold to dry a little bit more. And then I go back in with black and, and thin out some of the gold lines. So no biggie. You can always go back and make everything the way you want it. So you can really see that these wings are not even. <laughs> but I promise you, this is going to be gorgeous when it is done. Even if it's uneven. Nobody's going to even notice the uneven wingage. <laughs> uh, that's what I love about it. Nobody nobody seems to care once it's done. It's so shiny that it, it's like dogs when they see a squirrel. <laughs> People do not see the flaws. It's just too shiny. <laughs> so I hope everyone is doing well. We just found out that our kids are going back to school as normal. Um, mandatory masks, of course, for grades four and up. Um, and under four, you can ask them to wear a mask, but it's not mandatory. So I have two kids, two boys in those different spectrums of the mask wearing. One's in high school going into grade 11 and one is going into grade one. So, uh, yeah, I've bought some really cute masks as soon as the news came out yesterday. I was online ordering all sorts of masks because if they're anything like hats and mittens, he ain't coming home with them. And so I'm going to have to have a lot. 
<laughs> oh, I'm excited for them because they need their social lives back. They really need some more routine in their lives as well because I'm struggling with uh, keeping the routine going. Um, which is why I don't post as often as I'd like because it's a struggle. So I'm just gabbing away while I outline everything in gold so that I don't bore you while the rock is halfway out of view. Um, and hopefully I don't get any notifications in the middle of this because uh, I'm using a separate recording device and I shouldn't be getting notifications. But if I do, it was meant to be. <laughs> it wouldn't be Rachel's Rocks Canada on YouTube if there wasn't interruptions. <laughs> in the videos. <laughs> uh, so I, I just want to thank everybody. I just reached over 60,000 and working my, my way up to 62,000. Um, I can't believe that there's that many people out there that are interested in painting with me or, or listening to my voice. Um, so I just want to thank each and every one of you. I love you and appreciate all of you. There's so much beauty being created from all of us and it, it actually gives me goosebumps just thinking about it just the the art therapy that um we are all gaining from this well i did just get an interruption but that was my son sorry i apologize for that if you hear cats or lawnmowers or children it's because i am human <laughs> and i have a family and this is life. So I can hear some kind of grass situation going on outside, but I don't mind that. I hope it's not annoying for you guys. Um, so I am outlining everything. It's taking a while, um, but I am just making sure that I've lengthened the body a little bit in my butterfly. It seemed a little stubby and short at first, so I did lengthen it a bit, and I'm gonna outline that with gold as well once it dries a little bit more but right now I'm just perfecting the gold around the wings and then we get to do the foil fun I love foils they are so there's so many things to choose from and as soon as I see like the designs of foils I just start like overflowing with creative ideas so I'm excited I hope you guys aren't getting bored of foil um I have had a lot of requests to to do more foils so I'm, I'm going to stick with, I did a dotted one last time. I'm doing a foil one this time. I do have another foil one coming, which is super cool. Um, but I do have to edit that one and it just takes some time. And <laughs> whoops, I don't have notifications on this device, but <laughs> on the device sitting right beside me, I do. Oh man. I'm never going to get good at this. <laughs> I still love you guys. I hope you guys understand. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with the way the butterfly is looking. Um, I did use Mayan gold, which is the uh, folk art treasure gold. It's Mayan number 5541. Um, it's just super chromey, like it's super metallic looking compared to my spun gold, um, which is from Deco Art. I get it from my dollar store. Um, that is where I started. I started buying all of my stuff from the buck store and, um, and I stuck with it. A lot of my paints come from the dollar store. I don't go out and buy really expensive stuff. I can't afford that. And I don't want you guys to have to do that either. So I literally use um, what I can find and what works for me. So I am sketching on a little design just so that you guys can see what my idea is. Uh, you may have seen pictures of this type of butterfly on my Facebook or uh, Pinterest or uh, Instagram. Um, but I'm going to do it for you guys so you can see how it's being done. So I just kind of made like a weird mark like a splatter um, of pencil. So it just looks, it's uneven, nothing's perfect about it. I just tried to do it similar. Um, and then I'm gonna cover up, I'm using a nice, it's like, there's a little bit of purplish in there, a little bit of rose gold. It changes, this one changes. You can use whatever one you want, but I find the metallic-y looking ones 
look really special. So I can tell right now that my cat's going to start crying. That will be Maple. And yeah, she says hello. And she says Monroe, which is my other cat's name. And if you don't believe me, I'm sure she will make a liar out of me today. <laughs> but it's true. Darn it. Okay, so I'm just kind of following in the little blob that I drew on with pencil. Covering it up because we're not going to be able to see it once I've covered it up. I'm just going just beyond the edges of the pencil mark. We won't be able to see that. And I only did that to show you like what my idea is here. So I'm doing it as even as I possibly can. I'm just painting it right on just like nail polish. Um, going right onto the paint. Make sure your black paint is dry. Oh, Maple. Hello. Maple. Maple. Hello. You going to say it? Not a word. <laughs> so I'm going to do the bottom wings first and then I'll do the top ones. But I'm going to cure this under my, my lamp. And I don't even know. Oh, hello. I need to let her out of the room. One moment. Okay, thank you. So, um, I have uh, I have it on a 60 second setting and I do that twice. So I let it sit under there for two minutes and that's what that's what works for me. It might not be the same for your lamp or your glue. Um, but yeah, I'm laying it right across. It fits nicely right across covering all the glued areas on the bottom wings. And you can use your finger, you can use um, like a cotton, a cotton pad and just rub it across there with your finger. Um, or you can use like a makeup brush. Like I have a unused. Oh, there she is again. So you can see when I pull it off, it really stuck really well. Um, but it leaves like little bits that didn't stick. And to me, that just looks like it's kind of tarnished, like tarnished metal on a butterfly. So to me, that looks really cool. So even if all of your foil doesn't stick, you can do it over again. You can paint right over that with the nail glue again, put it under the lamp, cure it, and then redo it if you're not happy with the way it looked. But to me, when there's those little imperfections, it just looks aged. It looks beautiful to me. Um, so definitely try it out. See what you think. Um, we are going to see it resined, so... It'll be all covered in, in a shiny lacquer glass-like finish, and it looks beautiful. I'm going to be using a different color foil to go down the body, but I'm sticking with the chromey rose gold purplish chrome um, for the wings. But you'll see. You'll see the blue on the body a little bit later. You can use whichever foil you want. You can do whatever you want. There's so many to choose from. So back under the lamp for two minutes. Spin it around. And I'm going back on with a fresh piece of foil. Don't use the same one because you got all sorts of empty bits on it. Um, you can use the leftovers for, for other projects. I put it all in an envelope and then I go back to it later for other projects. If you have a lot left over, if you only use like a little bit of foil, don't throw it all away. But see, you can see the little bits that are missing. And to me, that just looks like tarnished metal. And I, I love it. I just love the way it looks. So I'm going to do the body. And this one has a bit of blue metal, blue metal-y looking. It's very metallic, very, very shiny. It's not holographic. It's just uh, metallic. So I'm going to just daub little blobs on there to make little parts of the body or you can fill it all in where you see the black space that's totally up to you but I do blob like little dots and uh, and then I'm gonna dry them as dots and then rub the foil onto them like that and I'm also doing some dots on the wings uh, which I'll show you after super easy it looks so pretty so I have the little blobs there, and then we're going to cure it under the lamp for two minutes. And there we go. I'm going to just run this along there with my finger, 
run it across all the little bumps that I just put there. And then when it comes off, you have little blue body parts. It's super cool. So much fun. I just love it. You can, it just opens up your whole world when you, uh, when you use foils and glitters and all sorts of fun stuff. It makes your rocks irresistible. So I'm using a dotting tool and I just dotted um, some of the foil glue, just like I would with paint. I just dotted a couple of areas along the side there. You can't see it very well, but um, hopefully, hopefully you understand what I mean. I'm putting a dot down at the bottom, very low parts of the wings where there's like a little drop there. Um, and you'll be able to see everything a little bit better once I foil it, but do you see... I've put the dots along the side and I'm doing one side at a time because it's just easier to dry it under the lamp one side at a time. So once again, two minutes, come back and I'm using the same rose gold and purplish colored uh, foil for the wings again. I'm not, I'm not putting blue on the wings, I'm just put blue on the body. Um, so I'm going back to some of my pre I used it already on the wings. I'm going back to those pieces so that I can use it again. And it literally just sticks to where you put glue. So any of the dots or any of the little spots that I put glue, now they're covered in foil. And they look beautiful, shiny and sparkly. And it just really it changes things so much, especially when you're just having a black background like that just changes everything guys it's just beautiful so even if you're frustrated even if you're struggling do not give up because I honestly tried to use foils a while back and I was like uh -uh, this isn't for me it's not for me and I put it away and then I got it back out again so take a break from it find another one of my tutorials where you're dotting or you're painting and not dotting or whatever no foil no glitter um, and then come back to it and you will be a pro if you keep trying. I have to explain this to my son, my six year old many times over the last few months. If you just keep trying, the only thing that is going to happen is that you're going to get better. That's it. So keep trying guys. It's so much fun. Once you're comfortable with it, it's just so much fun. So I'm just taking my fine lining brush and some black paint and I'm cleaning up some of the edges of the foil where it kind of looks really weird or uh, it didn't go where it was supposed to or it's really uneven compared to the other side. So I'm just kind of cleaning it up. That's all I'm going to do. And then I'm going to resin it and then you're going to see it finished and you're going to fall in love. <laughs> I'm trying to control you and brainwash you and hypnotize you. Oh gosh, I'm losing my mind. I'm hoping to have some good news very soon, guys. I've been sitting on pins and needles for like a couple weeks. Um, so pray for me. <laughs> Please send me warm thoughts and feelings. Hope for good things to come my way. Um... Because, yeah, I want to share some news with you, but I have to wait. So I'm going to resin this, which is my favorite part. Thank you all for staying with me through this <laughs> weird tutorial. I'm going to sign my name, and I will see you in a moment. Oh, my. Can you guys believe how beautiful this looks? Look at all that metallic beauty. The stone itself is gorgeous. Once I resin it, like beautiful, but wow, that butterfly is gorgeous, you guys. And it's so shiny at points you can see my wonderful morning mom bun. <laughs> if you look closely enough. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for sticking by and waiting for me to bring out more for you. Um, you guys mean the world to me. Keep painting and I will see you soon. I hope you love this.